Brothers and sisters, children of the light, as the Apostle Peter calls us in 1 Peter 2. I want to talk to you to, to tonight about a very, very, I have to say sensitive subject, because it's something that's very rarely preached from the pulpits, sadly. And that is that once you've made a decision to be in relationship with Jesus, ask Him to be your Savior, and you're in a relationship with Him, that there's a certain level of dedication expected by God from you. And that fruitlessness or a relationship of, of, of where you're not interested in, not, and almost neglect the relationship actually has dire consequences. A few scriptures for you. And uh, yeah, with kindness in my heart, brace yourself. This is not an easy video to make, but something you must hear as a Christian. It says in Hebrews 10, 26, it says, if you, if you are born again and, and through Jesus you have salvation, and most of these I'm just going to paraphrase just the, the idea. You can go and read these verses yourself, Hebrews 10, 26. And you've been saved and your sin have been washed away, and you deliberately keep on sinning. Now, I'm not talking we all have daily stumble sin, but if you deliberately try and sin as much as you can, you don't try and live a holy life and a righteous life. You really don't care. You just keep on living the way you've always lived, and especially spiritual sin and disloyalty to God. It says that the only thing you can, you can expect is fearful judgment and fire. Go and read that verse if you, if you think I'm, I'm, I'm being too strict. It says in Hebrews 6, 8, a land that produces thorns. And if you read the whole, your, the whole chapter, you will realize that he's talking about, about Christians. Christians that, that don't have fruit in their life. And I'm not talking about the fruit of the Spirit um, in Galatians 5, joy, peace, ha happiness, kindness, forgiveness. I'm talking about fruit, spiritual fruit, that you live for Jesus, that you're dedicated to Jesus, that you evangelize, that you grow in your spirituality, you have value for Him and His kingdom. It says in Hebrews 6, 8, a land that produces th only thorns is worthless, will be cursed, and will be burned. It's harsh verses. Not preach from pulpits. Take heed. Say this with kindness. Matthew 5.13. Lord Jesus in Matthew 5 calls us the, the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And there is, many, there is a, a, a sermon of two just in that statement. I'm not going to elaborate on that now. And it says in 5.13. If the salt, you and me, lose our saltiness, it will be thrown out and trampled on. Matthew 3.10 says, a tree that don't produce good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. Difficult scriptures, my brother and sister, but I say this with kindness. If you accepted Jesus as your Savior, don't fool around. Live for Him, grow in your faith. Become part of a true church, not a false church. There's many false churches out there in every denomination that don't honor Christ. Get into a true church, a God-fearing church with a God-fearing minister that preach scriptural truths. Be part of that process and, and contribute your time and your effort. Know your Bible. Live for Jesus. Be effective in your relationship. And I pray that none of these verses will be applicable on you. We cannot enter into a relationship with Jesus and just then have a don't care attitude. It will be to our detriment. Please go to my website, letterforchrist.co.za, link to YouTube, follow my, my channel, get others to follow and share my videos. It's how you can evangelize. May the true living God, the Trinity, richly bless you.